Hi, welcome to another episode of Home Studio Workshop. This is all about work ethics. How to look after yourself. How to make sure that you're turning out the best work you can. If you're doing this on your own, which I expect most of you are, you are your best asset. So you've got to look after yourself and it's not simple. You get so caught up in it, you want to do 24 hours a day, but you can't. Your ears go. That's the most important thing. You know that feeling. You've been there. You get to the end of the day and suddenly it's not fun anymore. It used to be a joy. Now suddenly you're going, oh, I've got to do another take. Oh, no. Stop. Because you ain't going to do it. It ain't going to be good. Stop. Start again tomorrow. And the same thing applies generally for lots of different, lots of different things. Guitar playing, guitar practice. You practice the same part. You blah, blah, blah. Over and over again. D day after day. Stop. Leave it for two days. Come back to it. You'll be able to play it. I don't know why this works, but it's something to do with the brain. Who knows <laughs> what goes on up there. But you have to stop. In a more general way, also, I operate on a policy of doing five days work and then stopping uh, it's kind of easy for me because as you can probably see I'm scarcely young anymore so I don't have anything else to do but the principle does apply I do five days a week and I do a good eight hours a day but then I stop and then every weekend I take the weekend off you may want to do different things but work five take two off does you the world of good when you come back whatever state you might be in when you come back you're ready to go again and you've got new ideas and better ideas it really works the other thing i want to talk about is is hard copy backup otherwise known as writing things down it's a good way to work you may have just done a whole week trying to figure out how to do an eq on say a kick drum or something and you think Great! I've solved that. I shall never need to worry about that again. I know how to do it. Same applies to anything. Acoustic guitar recording, whatever. And you think, oh, that's great. I know how to do that. But then you don't do another kick drum for six months and you forget. So write it down. I'm going to run through some of the ways that I back things up in hard copy land. And I'll show you them now. And here we have my desk area. As you can see, paper ready with a pen ready. Always have a pen. The other bits of paper scattered around are shortcuts to things I forget on a regular basis. EQ levels, uh, effects lists, all kinds of stuff. Just short term stuff that I can't remember. This is my tech folder. Um, in here is everything that I've ever learned pretty much small book <laughs> anyway let's have a look inside there as you can see a few notes there about what about the current project underneath that some notes on the power setup for the whole studio Instrument help, how to record instruments, how to different tunings, that kind of thing, all kinds of stuff that I've learned. Help with recording basics, CQ, reverb, mastering, compression, blah blah blah. Other other software, DTP, blah blah blah. That shouldn't be there. Don't know what that is. Never seen it before in life. <laughs> and then track sheets. Track sheets of every album I've made with relevant information. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Anyway, if we go downstairs to the guitar repair area, as you can see, paper and a pen. Always ready to write. Be ready to write. Living room. What do we find? Let me guess. Two pads. And a pen, obviously. One for short-term ideas, technical ideas, and one for lyrics. We're moving into lyrics. Also in the bedroom, 
a piece of paper where you can write down ideas you get in the annoyingly middle of the night because it does happen and if you don't write them down they're gone gone okay hope you got something out of all that and uh on to the next episode see ya <laughs>